question that I always want an answer to because if God is so merciful and so loving and so forgiving and all of that shit, how did he just allow for 400 years of slavery to just happen? And on top of that, now we're being discriminated against to this fucking day because of that. And the answer that I always get is that God was punishing black people for turning their backs on him. Yeah, mm mm-hmm, you heard that shit, right? So our ancestors, from the moment they were forced to come to this country, all the way until present day, have been struggling, dealing with discrimination, dealing with murder, dealing with all types of shit, because God was mad at them. And that, that's the God that I'm supposed to praise and worship, and oh my God, he's so merciful, be fucking for real. This is also why I especially don't like black Christians, because y'all are the most delusional out of all of them. Apparently God don't like us, so why the fuck are we the main ones in church? I don't understand that. Alright. So, first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Akwaf. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. Now, this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And a couple of elders and a few Akim, you know, have responded to this woman here, you know, and, uh, you know, it, I, you know, I, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but let me tell you something, man. You women that are out there, you know, that's coming against, you know, the most high. Let's see if you come against the most high when all hell break loose, man. You know, and you women out, this is why it's important for you women to just shh. To be quiet. See, because scriptures tell you that every idle word that men shall speak, and that includes, and that includes women. Matter of fact, go ahead and grab that. This is why scriptures tell you that every idle word that men shall speak, they should give account thereof. Let me see here. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men, that includes women, shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment you see that so a lot of people out here they don't realize that they are mark i keep saying this they're marking themselves for judgment man she's coming against the most high you know so to us you know when i see videos like this right here you know i i try to do too many videos you know about people like this but you know she she's gonna have to give account man for the things that she spoke you know see because what it is is the men of the lord you know it caught our attention man you see that and me i'm just gonna say it damn it i wouldn't trust the woman here that got a lace front wig you know or whatever the hell you call this thing you know you got fake hair in your head you know but we're supposed to listen to you like you know what's going on and this is how you know the spirit of the Lord is not dealing with a lot of these women out here, man. You know, she doesn't realize the reason why we're in the situation that we're in, man. It's because we went off. You see that? So let's go back and analyze everything that she said. You know, I'm going to try to keep this lesson real Question short. That. You know, I'm not going to keep it long at all. Because, you know, it's very easy to break down. You know, if you read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And just read history period, man. Every time Israel was in captivity, right, we prayed to the Lord, you know, we told the Lord that we wasn't going to do, you know, worship false gods, that we was going to worship him, and, and what did we do? We started worshiping false, we became the harlot, man. You see that? That's why it's important to read and to study the scriptures, man. You know, if you don't have understanding, you know, you're going to look at everything as, you know, a... Uh, 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 in a bugged out, distorted way, man. Like this woman here. So let's go ahead and play this back. Let me see here, man. Question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm -
question that I always want an answer to. Because if God is so merciful and so loving and so forgiving and all of that shit, how did he just allow for 400 years of slavery to just happen? Okay. Now, this is how the Most High allowed for 400 years of slavery to happen. This is the book of 1 Maccabees chapter 7. I'm going to read verse 32. It says, we suffer. Right? She want to know why we're suffering. Why we went through 400 right plus years. Right? In slavery. We suffer because of our sins. You see that? So, yeah, man. We suffer because of what we did, man. You see that? We went off as a nation. You know, now everybody didn't go off. Right? But the Lord punished the whole nation, man. So, this is why we're suffering. You know, you're not the only one that's suffering, man. All the men that you see out here doing these lessons and these videos. Right? We're all suffering, man. Right? We are suffering. You know, because our people, I mean, all you got to do is look around. Our people still eat shrimp, pork, crabs, and lobsters. Still worship the way of the heathen. You know, and all of that, man. So this is why we're going through what we went through. You see that? So let's keep going. And on top of that, now we're being discriminated against to this fucking day because of that. Well... That's Bible prophecy. You know, scriptures, matter of fact, grab that. You know, we would go through these things, man. You know, because ultimately we walk contrary to the Lord, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30, and I'm going to start at verse 18. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whether thou possess over Jordan to possess it, right? I have called I have called heaven and earth to record this day against you. You see that? So this is what Moses was telling our people, right? Let's keep going here. That I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Therefore choose life that thou slock it, that that both thou and thy seed may live you see that so we chose death we didn't choose life all right this is why you see our people out here being destroyed man you know so this woman here has very little understanding of what the hell is going on you know that's why you individuals out there especially you women out there we tell you women to be quiet we do you know we are suffering because of what we did to the most high, man. We chose death. You see that? And ev everything is ordained through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad, man. But it's okay. When we get into the kingdom, right, we're going to be fine. But a woman like this right here, she doesn't understand. That's why she's asking these stupid questions on this, on this damn, what is this, Instagram or TikTok or whatever the hell you call it, man. Because she doesn't know. You see? Let's keep going here. The answer that I always get is that God was punishing black people for turning their backs mm, on him. Okay, first and foremost, we're not black. We're not black. Do, do you hear that, four eyes? We're not black. We are the Hebrew Israelites, if you read this. And, and again, this is how you know that our people, they have very little understanding they do. You know, scriptures say that, uh, that that the most highest heritage is like a speckled bird. We're not black. What about the other nations? As far as the Israelites, man. Right? I'm not talking about the heathen. But what about the other people? The other Israelites, man. That are also going through a uh, 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 captivity, man. They don't have it easy either. So the Lord is not dealing with just black people. He's dealing with all 12 tribes. And you see that? And one of the curses, well, I'm just going to put it out there. One of the curses is that you women will be bald. And when you look at this lace front wig, you can clearly see it, right? The curses cleave unto her too, man. Because we walk contrary against the Lord. Let's go ahead and grab that. 
This is the book of Leviticus chapter 26 and I'm going to start at verse 27. And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me, right? But walk contrary unto me, and this is what we did, man. Then will I walk contrary unto you in fury. You see? And I, even I, will, chast will chastening you seven times for your what? For your sins. So this is why we are going through the things that we're going through now, man. See that? Let's keep going here. And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. And I will destroy your high places and cut down your images and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols. And my soul shall abhor you. You see that? So this is why we're going, to, going through the things that we went through, man, because we walk contrary to the Lord. Scriptures tell you, see, this is why, this is why it's important to, 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 to hearken, right, unto the prophets, man, because we're showing you, right, the right way, man. We're doing these videos telling you to stop eating shrimp, pork, crabs, and lobsters, right? And I bet this woman here, she does just that. Fourth of July just passed. She probably was out there, right, lighting the damn, uh, lighting the damn bottle rocket, man. Right? She was out there unwrapping presents, celebrating Halloween, Easter, and all of that, man. You know? So this is why we're going through the things that we're going through, man. Because the warners are constantly going out, but our people, they don't want to listen. So let's continue in this here, man. And Shalaki, let's continue in this. It's very easy, very simple. Merciful and so loving and so forgiving and all of that shit. How did he just allow for 400 years of slavery to just happen? And on top of that, now we're being discriminated against to this fucking day because of yeah. that. And the answer that I always get is that God was punishing black people for turning their backs on him. Yeah, mm-hmm. You heard that shit, right? Yeah, because we walk contrary to the Lord, man. Period. Let's keep going. So our ancestors, from the moment they were forced to come to this country, all the way until present day, have been struggling, dealing with discrimination, dealing with murder, dealing with all types of shit, because God was mad at them. Yeah, 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 we went off. You going off too. Your mother and your father and your grandmother and your grandfather went off. And this is why we're going through the things that we're going through to this very day. Let's go ahead and grab that too, man. You know, but it's to show you that the Lord is dealing with us, man. So if you say that the Lord, uh, who, whoever the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, man. Right? But I wouldn't, you know, I, I don't think she would know that. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this, the word that the Lord have spoke against you. Oh, children of Israel. You see that? It doesn't say children of everyone. Against the whole families. It's like against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, which were the Israelites. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. You see that? Therefore, will I punish you for your iniquity. That's right. So we're being punished. For what we did, we fucked up, man. We messed up. You know, and we're suffering for the things, man. We're suffering. You know, when the Lord says he's going to do something, he's, that's exactly what he's going to do. Just like all the other prophecies, when the Lord said that he would flood, right, uh, 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 the Suez Canal, is that not what he did? You see that? When the Israelites will wake up in the last days, are we not doing that? Right? Yeah, man. So we're suffering because of what we've done. And somebody like you, you're probably the main reason why we're suffering because you're going against the Lord. It was people like you that was with Moses that rebelled against Moses. You see that? 
but I wouldn't expect you to know that. So you brothers and you few sisters out there, this is why it's important to repent, man, and to seek the Lord while he may be found. You see that? Because people like this right here, they have no idea what the hell is going on. And this is why the main reason why we tell you women out there to be quiet, man. So let's keep going. <laughs> That's the God that I'm supposed to praise and worship. And I'm not yeah, yeah. You're supposed to worship that kind of God that can do that, man. You see that? The most high created the, uh, how does that scripture go? Uh, I'm not going to grab it. The most high created the seas where he would, where it wouldn't be able to uh, 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 pass the sand, man. Are you not supposed to uh, fear God that can do that? Are you not supposed to fear God that created you? Are you not supposed to fear God that can bring sudden destruction upon you, man? But, you know, let's keep going. God is so merciful. Be fucking for real. This is also why I especially don't like black Christians, because y'all are the most delusional out of all of them. And this is why people like this here are going to be destroyed, man. At least I pray and repent. You know, see, a person can look good on the outside, but the inside is screwed up. You know, now if she chooses to pray and repent, then that's up to the Lord, man. You know, it's all up to the Lord. You know, but I don't know just by listening to this video here, you know. And I did a video today called You Women Are Through. Let's read this right here. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. Who is thee? The Israelites. And shall pursue thee and overtake thee. You see that? What the hell does overtake mean? Till thou be destroyed. You see that? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord, thy power, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. That's right. So the Lord, right, gave statutes for who? The Israelites. You see that? And our people, right, and schlock it for that. Our people, they didn't want to hearken, man. They want to do whatever the hell they want to do. They want to uh, uh, celebrate the ways of the heathen, man. Right? Keep heathen customs. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder upon thy seed. What? Forever. That's not talking about, you know, forever. Because when, when Yahweh Shai comes back here, he's going to deliver us. Right? Well, all the curses are going to turn on our enemies, man. You see that? You know, so this is why we're going through the things that we're going through now. You know, a woman like this right here, she wouldn't understand. You know, because she's very foolish and simple. You see? Simple as hell. Let's grab this here, man. I know I'm not going to keep this lesson long. This is the book. I, I got to bring this out again. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in a day of judgment. You see that? So every word that you spoke against the Lord, you're going to give account. You see that? This is why it's important to repent now. But our people, they're not going to do so. Especially a woman like this right here, man. Right? You heard what she's... I mean, you can hear the pride in her voice. I'm going to grab this too. So you brothers and you few sisters out there, repent, man. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. You see that? I ain't got to keep this lesson real long. It ain't got to be deep or none of that, man. You know, a lot of these women out here, they don't know what the hell is going on. And, and men too. Right? Because they're just like their mom. They don't know anything, so therefore they pass that, they pass that bug out, not knowing anything spirit down to their sons. And a lot of you women, you do it too. 
And this is why Eve did this bug out video. See that? Hey man, social media is marking you simple individuals for judgment. This is why it's important to seek the Lord, man. To return back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and to hearken unto the prophets. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel, until the next time I say, Shalom. and so loving and so forgiving and all of that shit how did he just allow for 400 years of slavery to just happen and on top of that now we're being discriminated against to this fucking day because of that and the answer that i always get is that god was punishing black people for turning their backs on him yeah mm -hmm. you heard that shit right so our ancestors, from the moment they were forced to come to this country, all the way until present day, have been struggling, dealing with discrimination, dealing with murder, dealing with all types of shit, because God was mad at them. And that, that's the God that I'm supposed to praise and worship, and oh my God, he's so merciful, be fucking for real. This is also why I especially don't like black Christians, because y'all are the most delusional out of all of them. Apparently God... This is the book. Second Maccabees chapter 7 verse 32 For we suffer Because of our sins 